If we want to see the long-awaited zero-emission future, no innovation technology should be discarded, especially the one that can ensure long-range and fast refueling. In today's episode, we'll be reviewing the best fuel cell vehicles already on the market and the latest models that'll be joining the H2 roster after 2021. Subscribe to our channel to support the electric revolution and let's get technical. On sale since 2014, the Mirai enters a new generation this year, switching from old front engine underpinning to a higher end rear engine rear wheel drive platform that ensures ideal weight distribution. The midsize also scores a new drivetrain setup that raises the car's output and range, but weighs 50% less than the previous system. The model nets 182 horses and covers 400 miles on a tank. In addition, Toyota promises you six years or $15,000 worth of free fuel. Inside the sedan becomes much more comfortable offering a quieter ride, more interior room and an advanced 12.3 inch infotainment as standard. Recently spotted on the streets of Las Vegas, the XP-1 prototype continues development as planned. The model comes powered by four independent motors working in tune to ensure all-wheel drive capability, a three-speed transmission, and a set of supercapacitors to buffer the fuel cell output. The bulletproof hydrogen tank that refuels in five minutes carries enough H2 to cover 1,016 miles between Phillips, so the lack of stations should be overlooked altogether. This EV weighs mere 2,275 pounds, courtesy of the carbon-titanium monocoque chassis, plus, at least on paper, it demonstrates remarkable speed and technological superiority over the competitors. With its size and pricing, the Nexo Crossover can be considered the current flagship of the Korean brand's eco-car portfolio. It's already available in several of the company's major markets, including the U.S., offering buyers a solid 380 miles EPA range. The model sits on a purpose-built platform, which makes it more efficient, lighter, and faster than the Tucson's fuel cell predecessor. The SUV develops 161 horsepower and 291 pound-feet of torque, sent immediately to the front wheels via a single-speed transmission. It also arrives with standard automatic LED headlights, heated and air ventilated seats, and a 12.3-inch touchscreen. Make your input in the development of electric vehicles by smashing the like button. And thanks for the feedback. Let's get back to it. The first solo project of the former Audi and Apollo Automobili designer Roland Gumpert is finally starting its 500-unit limited production in 2021. Presented as a prototype in 2018, the model gets a complex fuel cell system that operates on methanol. The reformer divides the latter into carbon dioxide and hydrogen, which feeds the fuel cell. The other power source is a 70 kilowatt hour battery that ensures high power maneuvers. This allows to increase efficiency, allowing the Natalie to cover 510 miles with average speeds of 75 miles per hour. The car has four electric motors, one per wheel, that peak at 540 horsepower and produces 190 miles per hour speeds.
The executives at BMW are still convinced that hydrogen fuel cell technology can become the fourth pillar of the powertrain portfolio by the brand. The low volume production of FCEVs will begin from the 2025th model year and is likely to include large SUVs, X5, X6, and X7. The first achievements in the development process was demonstrated by the BMW iHydrogen Next concept that was co-developed with Toyota Motor Corporation. The hydrogen system is fueled by two 700 bar tanks with 13.2 pounds of H2. The total powertrain output of dual electric motors reaches respectable X5 levels of 374 horses. Setting an ambitious goal of becoming the world's biggest manufacturer of hydrogen-powered vehicles, the Chinese startup Grove has presented its first models, among which is the sporty five-door. Dubbed Granite, it was striking exterior styling created by the Italian design house Pinaferina. It features a massive front grille, a highly sculpted rear diffuser, frameless doors, and built-in cameras instead of traditional mirrors. Grove is still stingy with potential performance details, so all we know so far is that Granite will cover over 600 miles on a tank, while its powertrain will rely heavily on regenerative braking. According to the latest reports, Daimler has chosen to abandon the development of fuel cell technology for the passenger vehicles, deeming it too costly. However, we must acknowledge their achievements in the field since German had dedicated 30 years to this endeavor. The latest prototype on display was the Mercedes-Benz GLC F-Cell, co-developed with Nissan. Its powertrain has four driving models and resembles operation of a plug-in hybrid, where a 13.5 kilowatt hour battery, a hydrogen fuel cell, and an electric motor work in tune. A few hundred hydrogen GLCs has been produced and used during promotional campaign. These vehicles would cover 207 miles on a fill-up at the speeds electronically limited to 100 miles per hour. While Toyota is still testing its hydrogen trucks and hyped up Nikola Motors is struggling to overcome the recent controversies, Hyundai actually gets down to business and becomes the first company to mass produce fuel cell heavy duty trucks. First 50 units of the Excision will be delivered to Europe this year, while 1600 more are scheduled to roll out by 2025 with the planned expansion to other international markets. Developed in-house, the model features a 256 horsepower electric motor fueled by seven hydrogen tanks with 71 pounds total capacity. The tractor unit can cover 625 miles on a fill-up, while the loaded vehicle is rated for 250 miles. The clarity is recorded on the annals of history as the market's first commercial hydrogen car, but unlike the Toyota Mirai, it was only been available for lease. This sedan manages to fit the entire 174 horsepower strong fuel cell stack under the hood. This results in the spacious five-person interior with the design and materials on par with a Cura. However, the hydrogen tank compromises the trunk. This Honda can cover 360 miles on a fill-up and is rated at 68 mpge. Among the latest upgrades, we should highlight improved cold weather startup performance, heated seat mirrors, and a new brown interior. Plus, the model keeps its tech edge with the standard Honda sensing and full smartphone connectivity.
We're doing our best to promote the electric revolution, but we need your help in spreading the EV word. Subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and share this episode with your friends. Check out more videos suggested on the screen and come back next week for more electric news.